Welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name's Lauren. I'm quickly starting off this vlog because we are running late and running out the door to go to dinner and meet some friends of ours at a place called Real Fish, which is a seafood restaurant we've never been to before, but it's supposedly really good in the Winter Park area by Park Ave. And then we're going to a Christmas themed bar. And it I think it's just Christmas themed during the holiday season and then it goes back to normal and that's called I think the courtesy so I'm really excited to go and get some fun holiday drinks and it's decorated really really cute so I'm gonna vlog tonight but I wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog it's Friday night I worked today obviously worked all week and we're gonna start off uh, I guess a few days in my life vlog because I will be vlogging a little bit tonight so we're heading out the door now. We're supposed to meet them right now at the restaurant, but running a little bit late, I was trying to figure out an outfit. So let's go. festive for the holidays so that was really fun we did have to end up waiting a really long time outside because it is a smaller bar and it's popular obviously like everyone wants to go to something like that it's so fun and cute and just different for 
the holidays. So um, if you do live in the Orlando area and you do want to go, just expect to wait a little bit. We waited, we put our name down right when we were finishing up dinner because it was right by like a, a block away from where we ate dinner, which was Real Fish, which is really good. I highly recommend if you like seafood. Um, so we put our name down probably like 20 minutes before we left dinner. We still ended up waiting probably like a little bit over an hour and a half, but it was worth it. It was a lot of fun and um, I highly recommend, but just expect to wait if you do go and um, go a little bit earlier because they start to cut off letting you in or allowing you to put your name down on the waiting list. There were people that were coming up at like 11.30 and they were saying we can't take your party and they close at one. So that's what's going on today. Just wanted to do a recap of the night because it was a lot of fun. And now we're doing another holiday fun thing today as well. So it's just gonna be like a holiday, very December holiday vlog, which I love. Hello, it's a lot later. We were supposed to go get the holiday coffee flights and they closed an hour early because their water, I guess, broke or got shut off or something like that. So they weren't able to serve coffee and it's so far away, so I was so bummed. But we're gonna have to make time to go next weekend because next weekend is the last weekend before Christmas and Christian's going back home for the holidays so I really want to do it together with him so maybe we'll make time to go next weekend and we'll do a little coffee review taste test for YouTube and for you guys it's been a busy weekend of plans but I am about to leave in probably the next 30 minutes to go to a little art vendor holiday themed pop-up in downtown Orlando by La Heola. So I'm gonna go meet Maya and her sister there and I'm excited about it. I wanted to open my advent calendar and I wanted to share with you guys what I got this past week. So I'll just go one by one. There's been a lot of perfumes. If you guys remember when I first started opening it, I got a perfume and I got two more, which smell very, very good. One of them is the Burberry Her perfume. And this one actually smells super similar to the Baccarat Rouge perfume that's very expensive. I did get it gifted to me from Christian last year for Christmas and I still have the bottle and we've kind of made a dent in it, but we only really wear it on special occasions because it is so pricey. This is a definite, it's still an expensive perfume, but it's a definite dupe for it in a way. It's not necessarily a very affordable option. It's still, I think, $100, but it smells very, very similar to the Baccarat Rouge perfume and I highly recommend. It smells incredible. Um, the next one I got is the Giorgio Armani My Way, which also smells really, really good. I think this one, this one is a little bit more floral. There's definitely a lot of floral in here. And then I also got the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask, which is definitely one of my favorites. I sometimes even wear this just as moisturizer. It's really moisturizing. I love putting it on underneath my eyes. It's just a really good mask. So I love how I got a little bit more of this. I'm like squeezing out my full size tube of it. So I'm glad that I got a little bit more so I can use this. And then I got this Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. And I don't think I've ever used this vitamin C serum before. I think I've used the Dr. Dennis Gross one and I ran out of my other one that I got a few weeks ago, it was the Juice Beauty one and I really liked it, but I just haven't repurchased a vitamin C serum, so I'm excited to try this. This is definitely one of the things that I love about this advent calendar is it gives me the chance to try a ton of different products that I've never tried before and see how I like it. So I'm excited to try this. I haven't tried it yet, but we'll keep you guys updated. And then yesterday, I got like a two-in-one and I got the Too Faced lip injection, which I feel like everyone knows about doesn't really do anything for me. I just have naturally very small lips, especially my upper lip, but there's that. And then I got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I am wearing today, um, and I like it today, but last night when I used it, I did not like it. So I tried it again today, and um, I really like it today paired with my 
Maybelline the rocket mascara I'm gonna continue wearing it and see how I like it maybe we'll purchase the full-size tube okay so it's the 10th so I'm gonna open up the 10th I'm really excited about this because I almost um, purchased another one of these it's the Sol de Janeiro body mist and I'm so excited it smells so good it reminds me of summer but definitely you could wear it year-round so that was day 10 I'll open up day 11 tomorrow I'm just gonna sit on the couch for a little bit and then we're gonna head to the Lake Eola downtown area to do the little pop-up vendor thing and I'll obviously be vlogging a little bit for you guys so I'll probably pick up the camera again then. I'm also laughing and I wanted to share we went to that miracle on orange bar last night and it was so fun and I really did not need this but being there and just having the option I did and I got a little Santa um, head they also had little mr. and mrs. Claus shot glasses which I almost got I thought it'd be so cute for espresso shots I decided to go with this and I'm excited I know I have like an insane amount of holiday cups and mugs but truly I think whatever brings you joy you should definitely do it Good morning, I'm about to make my coffee. I got this thing, <laughs> I got it off of TikTok. Like I found it on TikTok, but I bought it on Amazon. You probably can't tell what it is, but you can put spices in it and you can make little designs on your coffee foam, like on top of the foam. And I'm gonna try it out. I don't know how well it works. It didn't come with any instructions. Like it just came with this device. So I think you like pour it in here and then you like press this button and it comes out. But I'm gonna try it on a napkin first because I don't wanna mess it up on top of the foam. It works. Look at the little heart.
into the advent calendar of the day. It's December 11th. So, it's pretty big. From the brand Wishful, it's a Yoglo enzyme scrub. Never heard of this brand before. It's a pineapple enzyme, papaya enzyme, AHA, BHA scrub. Let me look this up. Because it doesn't have a ton of info on the back. Okay, so it's Clean Beauty. And it's a gentle yet powerful exfoliator infused with pineapple and papaya enzymes, BHA and AHAs that leave skin with a healthy glow. So it smooths skin and increases clarity for radiant glow, reduces the look of dark spots, smooth skin texture and complexion. It's suitable for everyday use. I probably wouldn't use it every day just because it's an enzyme scrub. That might be a little bit too much, but I'm excited to try it. Maybe I'll try it tonight. I don't know. I did use an AHA last night and I don't want it to be too much on my skin. So maybe I'll use it in a couple days. I do the skin cycling, so this might be nice to try on the night that I do the AHAs and BHA acids. So since I did it last night, tonight's my retinol night, and then I have the two days of just moisturizer to recover, and then maybe I'll use it later in the week. So I'm excited to try that. I've never heard of the brand, but it is Clean Beauty. So that's what I got today. Okay, so I have this candle that my dad got me, I think like three or four Christmases ago. And it's cute because it has a little L on it. But this is when I was very irresponsible with candles and I didn't have one of these wick cutters. And it burns so unevenly. So I'm going to remove the wax out of it. And I think I'm just going to put it in the freezer. I've never removed wax from a candle before, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to put it in the freezer. And then I can put this on my bedside table and store little things in it or store it in my bathroom and put q-tips in it or something because i think it's cute so i'm gonna put it in the freezer i think i'm gonna take the lid off though and put it in okay we just got home from dinner a little bit ago and i'm prepping my breakfast and snacks for the week and i did this last week and it really helped me not rush around in the morning i was a little bit more prepared because this does take some time out of my morning but i realized i never really share what i eat on a regular basis for work days. This can help when you might be in a rut for snacks or something healthy to bring with you for work because in my opinion, there's nothing worse than being at work and not having food or like a snack. I hate being hungry. Here's just some ideas. I always bring breakfast with me and eat there. I have protein coffee every morning which kind of keeps me a little bit fuller in the mornings up until I get to work. So I usually eat this around like 9.30 or 10. And it's just the so delicious coconut yogurt unsweetened with pineapple on top. I'm such a creature of habit. I've been eating this for like months. And then I'm gonna wait till the morning to add this granola on top, but this is my favorite granola, the Purely Elizabeth brand. I love the vanilla chocolate chip and also the original. And I just tried the pumpkin one and it's really good as well, but this one's my favorite. So that's usually what I eat for breakfast. And then for snacks, this week I'm bringing clementines. So I have two clementines in here. I was bringing oranges and then I love pomegranate seeds, grapes, any type of fruit I always bring with me. So I have that. And I made this last weekend, really easy homemade trail mix with healthy ingredients. So if you're interested in seeing everything that I put in here, like the brands and things like that, you can definitely check out that video. It just as healthy nuts without all the added oils and things like that and healthy chocolate chips. And there's also dried cherries in here. Also, I always bring a huge bag of popcorn. It's so yummy and satisfying. And I love the Lesser Evil brand. I like the Himalayan pink salt. There's also like a kettle corn flavored one and the Himalayan gold tastes just like buttered popcorn and it's so good. I just can only find the Himalayan pink salt at Publix, but no inflammatory oils. It just has few minimal ingredients, which I love. I thought this could be potentially helpful for you guys if you're looking for snacks to have i know a lot of people do work from home but i mean you can stock these snacks up in your pantry as well i'm always looking for 
healthy snacks to bring with me to work or have on hand throughout the week. I also bring some type of like poppy, olipop for after lunch. I really like want something bubbly or like soda-like after. So I really love bringing these and all their different flavors as well. Mm -hmm. 